Good morning. Welcome back to another vlog. I feel so good, which is funny to say, because if you can tell from the sound of my voice, I am currently sick. Nothing serious. I just have a cold. So yeah, excuse the nasal ness of my voice, but I'm just feeling really good. Like there was a period of time there for a while where I was just feeling very blah and sort of like in that phase where I was like waiting to finally get into my salon suite and I wasn't really feeling happy at work and I wasn't prioritizing my wellness and I was like physically not feeling well like I was in physical pain and I'd look in the mirror and I just wasn't happy with what I saw I hated my hair but it just feels good to like have it be dark again, doing the keratin treatment and have it be more tamed. And I've been working on my wellness again and I'm starting to feel a little bit more like myself. I don't know if it was translating in my vlogs recently, but I just felt like this whole summer I was just like really puffy and I still kind of feel like I am a little bit compared to how my face looked a few months ago, but it's getting better. But let me show you what we're going to be up to today. This is my guest bedroom. Since I moved into this apartment, I had been wanting to turn this into an office and I do have the bed in here which that's gonna stay, cause I already had it. I know a lot of people were like, oh, you should get like a, a futon or pull out couch or something like that. That would have been ideal, but I already had the mattress and the frame, so that's gonna stay in here. But there's enough space in here, and don't mind the mess, but it's a pretty spacious room. Like there's enough space in here, even with the bed, to have a desk and make this an office. But if you recall, this is also the room where I was storing all of my stuff for the salon suite before I was able to move in there. So I had a big dresser on this wall and just a whole bunch of stuff piled up. I was waiting until I got all of that out of here before I officially set it up and decorated and everything. I have this table that I actually got as a set. Um, there's It's like the stacking tables. So the smaller one I have in the salon suite, I was gonna put both of them, but this ended up just being a little bit too big. So I'm gonna have it in here, which I think will be great. That'll be useful. I have this chair, which I got sent to me from the website Lubana, and I love this chair so much. I was originally thinking about putting it in the suite, but it's just, there's not enough room for it. So I need to see how that fits, because this desk, is from Ikea, I already had it. Maybe I'll upgrade to something else in the future, but for now, that's perfectly fine. I need to see though, like height-wise, I don't know if I want to use this as my desk chair, or if I wanna just put that in the corner for now as an accent chair and get like an actual proper office chair for the desk. We'll have to see about that. And I don't know, I might rearrange, like I might put the bed in a different position. I'm thinking this desk would be nice to go against this wall possibly. And then if I don't use that for the desk, that and the table could go in that corner over there for now. Okay, here's where we're at with the room. Sorry, I wasn't recording the whole time. My mom called me right as I was starting. So I was on the phone with her for literally an hour and 40 minutes. <coughs> and now my throat is so dry and sore from talking so much. So I'm gonna try to limit my talking, but I just wanna show you. I think this is gonna be the setup, at least for now anyway. So I put the desk over here. I really like it on this wall. It just fits perfectly right there and then I just rotated the bed this way so I could put the table there I was thinking about maybe moving the bed over to this wall but my dog really loves sitting on the bed and looking out the window so I was like I want to leave it there and I wanted to put the table next to the bed but I didn't want to put it on that side because I'm afraid he might try to jump on it and obviously since it's glass you know fragile whatever so I think that is going to be the perfect positioning for that for now. I need to strip the sheets and wash that, but, and like make the bed obviously. But yeah, and then 
this rug I had from my old apartment. And then I put his crate over here in this corner for now. And then there's like a good amount of floor space in here. So when I have guests, if I have like multiple people and the one bed isn't enough, I have an air mattress and there's plenty of space that we could put the air mattress down. So yeah, I feel like this is this is good. So yeah, I definitely want to get curtains though because it just feels like incomplete not having curtains up there. And then I don't know, maybe some wall art because this wall feels like very big and blank. On the desk, I already had that lamp. I've had it for years. It's from Target, I think. And then I have a dossier reed diffuser and my laptop. And honestly, I think that that's good. I don't think I, I don't want to like clutter it up too much and then on this table i put a candle a coaster and then that clock i already had from amazon actually i just remembered that i had this i think it's technically like a toothbrush holder that i got from home goods a while back i used to use it to hold my makeup brushes in my old apartment and i just had it like sitting under the sink not really being used so put some pens and scissors in there yeah cute anyway i am going to pause for now do you see how red my nose is from blowing it so much and i ran out of tissues so i'm using toilet paper i need to get more at the store but yeah i'm gonna pause so i can eat something and then i actually am going to meet up with my friends we're gonna go see it ends with us which I'm looking forward to. I mean, the movie is just whatever, but I just really like going to the movies, especially the movie theater here is really nice and it has like super comfy reclining seats. I did not read the book. I started it and I honestly couldn't even get through. I don't even know if I finished the first chapter. This might be a polarizing opinion, so I'm so sorry if you disagree with me and feel offended by this, but I don't like Colleen Hoover's writing. I read Verity a couple years ago because everybody was obsessed with it. It was like, oh my God, this is the best book ever. It's so crazy. And I was like, this is giving discount Gone Girl. Um, but I'm gonna go eat now, so I will check in with you later. Oh my God scared the shit out of me. A song just started playing. How cozy is this though? The vibes are right. I just got home from the movies. It just started absolutely pouring rain. I got the red lights on. I love these smart bulbs because you can change them to any color of the rainbow, which is so cool. But the movie was actually pretty good. It is now almost 6.30. So I am just going to curl up on the couch. I've been re-watching, not like every single episode in order. I've been kind of like skipping around, but I've been watching Sex and the City again. That is like one of my go-to comfort shows that I have watched over and over a million times. That's like been my thing right now to throw on. It's just crazy to me how it's 20 years old and yet it's still somehow so good, so relevant. And I feel like every time I rewatch it, I can relate to different characters and different scenarios depending on like what's going on in my own life. It's just interesting how that happens. Um, I'm probably just gonna watch more of that and just have a chill Sunday night. So I'll see you tomorrow so that I can put that away. I know I probably don't look very awake right now, but I woke up before my alarm, which is always a good feeling. It is 7.30. I'm getting ready to go work at the salon, and today is an exciting, but like a little bit nerve-wracking day. Sort of, I don't know. State board is coming for me as a hairstylist, I have to have my cosmetology license through the state board of cosmetology in the state that I am working at. But then the salon itself, even me like being in a suite, but it's still technically, it's small and it's just me, but it's still technically a salon. So I need to get a license for the salon as well. So someone from the state board just comes and inspects your space and make sure that everything is up to code and that you are doing everything 
the way you're supposed to. I know like when I set everything up that I was doing everything correctly and I've been trying to clean really thoroughly each day, but I don't know, it's just something a little bit nerve wracking about knowing that somebody is coming in to like inspect and they're purposely like looking for certain things to see if you're like doing something wrong. So yeah, I'm getting ready extra early so I can get over there because Friday after I finished working, I was not feeling well because that was the first day of my cold and that's when it was really like at its worst and I left some things out. So I want to make sure I get there before state board does just to make sure everything is good to go. We were there yesterday, but when I applied for the license, it asked me when my operating hours are and my set days are Tuesday through Friday. So some of the girls there do work on Mondays. So they went and inspected their rooms and I know they're coming back today to do all of the Tuesday people. Otherwise, normally when they come, it's not scheduled. Like they just show up and it's a surprise. That's how I know that they're coming today. But I have two clients today and they are both returning clients. So I'm excited about that. Especially because both of them, they're like very low maintenance. They really only come get their hair done like once or twice a year. So I haven't seen both of them in a little while. And they're both just super cool, like around my same age. Really fun to chat with. So it should be a good day. Nice way to ease into the week. So I'm looking forward to that. Because honestly, today I don't really feel like I have it in me to be with a new client. Okay, here's my outfit for the day. Don't mind the unmade bed. This tube top is from Target. So is the belt. The shorts are from Cider. And then the cowboy boots are also Target. And then I layered my coin necklaces. This one's from Amazon. This one is from Vibe Season. That is the look for the day. I will see you at the salon. Wish me luck. Okay, I ran to Starbucks really quick. Four shots of espresso with half and half and vanilla. So good, so strong, much needed. But it's now almost 9.30 and state board has not come yet. But I'm glad that I got here early and was able to make sure that everything's perfect before they do get here. But here's a little overview of the room and how everything is looking. I don't think it's too different since the last vlog it looks weird now having that shelf empty but yeah and then once i get my salon license it is gonna go in that frame up there and we have this ugly temporary air conditioner which i know i like shared about it in the last vlog basically like when i first got the keys and started moving stuff in here i noticed that it was really warm so i tried to lower the temperature on the thermostat and it just wouldn't do anything like it sounded like it was kicking on, but then I wasn't feeling any cool air. The room was not cooling down. Um, long story short, they were here for like days trying to figure out what the issue was. And it, I believe, came down to it was just installed incorrectly. So luckily there's, I think like three units in this building and it's only one that was installed poorly. So the other two work, so the rest of the building is cool. It's just my room and I think one or two other ones in the front that were connected to the faulty unit. So last I heard they are waiting for some parts that they had to order and I think they're just like pulling it all out and redoing it. So they did give me this temporary one in the meantime which works great. It's been keeping the room nice and cool and it's not super loud especially once I have the music on you honestly can't even hear it at all. It's just a little bit of an eyesore. That's why I've been waiting to post more like a, a salon tour and more photos and everything because I'm like, that just it's temporary and it doesn't really look the best. So I want to wait till the room is like 
complete. But yeah, that's the air conditioned situation. But I love the vibe in my room. I made a salon playlist to play in here with just a bunch of like really chill, easy to listen to songs. And I think I made it public, it's on Apple Music. So I'll see if I can link it. It's been really nice getting to work. The music that I choose and stuff that's just relaxing and not having to listen to country music, you know? <laughs> And I love how I can adjust the lighting in here too. Like these lights. So the lights, the mirror, the shampoo bowl, the chairs, and this station came with the room. I didn't choose those. I've been getting a lot of compliments on the light fixtures and people have been asking me where it's from. I have no idea. All the rooms have this same kind of furniture and similar setup. But yeah, I have those lights, which are nice. And then I have the fluorescent ceiling lights which are dimmable so normally I like to just kind of keep it like this or if it's a sunny day I just don't turn the lights on at all and I just use the natural light which is so nice and I've been getting such good after pictures it honestly just makes getting content so much easier because not only am I in my own space I have privacy I don't have to like feel weird that other people are going to be in the background or watching or whatever or that I'm going to be getting in the way with my tripod but also the light is really good and just everything looks like really clean and the colors and everything are nice and neutral and aesthetic oh and I also have this dossier reed diffuser in here I get compliments every single time someone walks into this room they compliment how it smells in here I decided to go with this as like the signature scent for the salon and this portion of the vlog is sponsored by dossier thank you so much to them you guys know like my signature perfume that I have been wearing daily for years now is the ambery saffron it's my absolute favorite but woody sandalwood is another one of my favorites it's just like so calming and like a little bit beachy dossier makes replicas of brand name designer fragrances so this one the woody sandalwood is a dupe for La Labo's Santal, which is quite pricey, but Dossier's fragrances start at $29. So you're getting the exact same thing, the same quality, same lasting power, but you're getting it for a fraction of the price because you're getting it in simpler packaging and they're cutting out all the extra stuff that makes perfume so much more expensive, like the celebrity marketing, retailer markups, etc. They make obviously perfumes, colognes, unisex fragrances, and also home scents. So they're reed diffusers. I'm a big fan of. They also have candles. I highly, highly recommend the Woody Sandalwood reed diffuser. I'm telling you. So if you want to try out Dossier, I will have a link and a discount code in my description. Go check it out. And thank you again, Dossier, for working with me. I am going to just hang out here until either my first client gets here or state board gets here. But I will try to get footage throughout the day and I will let you know how the inspection goes. Now I can finally fill that frame. So exciting. The woman that came to inspect was super, super nice. I almost got a perfect score. I got one point deducted because she said technically I'm supposed to have sanitized tools put away either like in a drawer or a closed container or something, which I do with everything, but my color brushes technically are like out and not in a closed container, but to me, it's worth losing a point over. Cause I just like having them there. It's convenient. I like how it looks. And sorry that I didn't get clips throughout my day. I was documenting my day a little bit on Instagram stories. So if you're not already following me on Instagram, definitely go follow me there because I post daily content and I feel like pretty much everything that I do, especially work-related things, 
I document it somewhere. So if it's not here, it'll be on Instagram. <laughs> so follow me there and here, obviously, so that way you never miss out. It is now 6.45, but I'm feeling pretty tired. Both of them, their hair was like really grown out, so it was a lot of work. Um, they were each four hours long, all together, start to finish. A lot of work, my body is feeling tired. So I'm gonna do a quick cleanup. Tomorrow's gonna be a really, really easy day. I only have one client in the evening. Actually today, while my second client was processing, I went through the appointments I have coming up the rest of this week and I was making a list of inventory and a list of color that I need to get. So tomorrow I'm gonna go pick up my Cosmo Prof order and then go get some more stuff at Salon Centric before I get here. It's kind of nice. It's like, you know, I was looking forward to having, you know, a space of my own because I was like, oh, it'll be so great. I'll be able to get content whenever I want. But when you are like fully booked and busy, you don't always have the time. And then when you're finally done working for the day, you're just beak and or there's not good lighting anymore you look like a mess and i'm so grateful to be busy of course but it is nice to have those like slower days sprinkled in where you can get other things done but anyway i will see you tomorrow this is the look it's so so comfy kind of edgy cool laid back a little tacky like i just i love it the shirt is thrifted and then these biker shorts are i want to say forever 21 maybe they're really old i've had them forever and it's funny i have a few like cheetah print leopard print things and i almost got rid of all of it recently and now all of a sudden <laughs> i feel like cheetah print is like really popular again right now just within like the last few weeks i've been seeing it everywhere and i'm like oh okay i i can get on board with that so yeah i love that they just like pop out from under the shirt a little bit and then these boots i've had for a really really long time they're so old and beat up from zara and then these like big obnoxious 80s door knocker earrings that i got from tj maxx i can't remember the name of the brand but i just love them so yeah that is the look for today i'm gonna head out of here and go pick up my color from the beauty supply store so let's go i am in the middle of filming clips for an Instagram reel. And I put everything away already and I forgot to show you. I wanted to do a little haul. It really is crazy how quickly color, like the, the cost of color adds up. But I got two tubs of lightning powder. Wella Blondor is my favorite. And I refilled last jar and then I restocked on a bunch of Redken shades glosses and then I also got some permanent Wella color for my client that is coming tonight 747 and 674 so they're like deep brownish reds I'm trying to not like overstock on things because sometimes like i look at the color swatches and i'm like ooh, that's so pretty but if i don't know for a fact that i'm going to need it and use it within the next week or two there's no need for me to buy it so the way i'm doing things as of right now because especially i have a salon centric Cosmo Prof is on my way to the salon and then salon centric is literally like two blocks down the road from here so it's very easy for me to just pick up color if i need to so i'm trying to just look at my schedule see what i have i keep very detailed notes of everyone new clients i have them fill out like a pre-consultation form and send pictures so that i have a good idea of what we need to do and if their hair is a little like questionable i make them come in for an in-person consultation and all of that so i know exactly what color i'm gonna need to use for each client so i'm just looking at the schedule for like the week ahead and just making sure that i have in stock what i need and then if i don't i make a list and i go purchase it so i feel like the only thing that's like worth 
stocking extras of is stuff that I know I'm going to use all the time on pretty much everybody. So like there's certain like gloss colors that are like my go-tos that I use on a lot of clients. And then like lightener, obviously I'm always gonna need that. Developer, foils. I'm trying to like be smart with my money and not have like an overabundance of stuff that I don't necessarily need. But anyway, and then I also got, I realized I didn't have mousse. Like I have curl products for my curly and wavy girls but lately i've really been loving using a mousse to just add extra volume before i do a blowout but you got to make sure that you're getting the right kind of mousse because some mousses are more meant for like wearing your hair curly and they have kind of like a little bit of a crunch and then others like this one are meant to be used before you blow dry to add volume and like a little hold and extra lift of the root and stuff so i've never used this one before but i love kenra products so I can't imagine that I won't like this. The Volume Mousse Medium Hold, and this one is specifically for blow drying. Distribute evenly through damp hair and sections, blow dry or style as usual. And yeah, that was everything that I got. $182 later, that was it. Granted, I did get, I got like nine bottles of these, which these are like $7 and change each. And I have been using these so sparingly it's funny when you commission and you work in a big salon where there's like a huge stock of color you're just like oh yeah whatever like i'll mix two or three ounces but now that i am working for myself and i'm responsible for buying all the color myself i'm like i don't want anything to go to waste like the first couple of days i was realizing that i was not a lot but still i was like over mixing a little bit on certain things and i was like okay i need to cut back on that because I'm essentially just gonna be throwing money away if I keep doing that. So yeah, I'm really trying to be cautious not to over mix. And then anyone who does have like a crazy amount of extra hair, obviously if I just need to mix like a little bit extra, it's whatever. But if they have like double the amount of hair as like the average person and I need to use a lot more, I do have like an extra product fee that I add on. So just so many like tips and tricks and things that I'm kind of gathering and I'm excited to like put a video together and share that stuff with you guys. If you, you know, for those of you who are also thinking about going off on your own in the future, because I feel like you could very easily end up spending all of your freaking money. And speaking of saving money, here's one of the ways that I do that. So I have all of these small bottles of developer because it's just so much easier obviously to pour from a small bottle and then i bought these big gallons of just generic developer which are so much cheaper and then when the smaller bottles run out i just refill them from the gallon bottles so that way i can save money and yeah i just got this funnel from the dollar store because like imagine ugh, having to lift and pour this every single time it's kind of a pain and honestly i know like some people are going to come for me because there are some hairstylists that are so afraid and think like you have to use the corresponding developer for whatever brand of color or lightener you're using and listen do you do you if that's what works for you do you i'm just gonna tell you i've had other very seasoned hairstylists do this and tell me it doesn't really matter. You see educators do it all the time and say it doesn't matter. And I've also been doing it myself, even before I went to beauty school. And from personal experience, it doesn't matter. Developer is all the same shit. It's peroxide. Some of them just have like other little additives to make the consistency a little bit different. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing. This works for me and it saves me money because developer is one of those things that's so cheap, but it also can be kind of expensive depending on the brand you get. And to me, not worth it. I think some of them are more expensive too when they're in like fancier squeeze tube bottles. I am going to finish cleaning and setting up and everything thing and filming my Instagram reel and I will show you my client's hair when she gets here. I 
am going to just clean up really quick and then get out of here because it is 8.30. I feel safe here because there's cameras and like the doors automatically are locked all the time and we need a code to get in. But there's just something about being somewhere at night once it's dark out that just is a little uncomfortable. As much as I genuinely do love foiling and doing like dimensional color and stuff, it is nice once in a while to just do like a simple solid root to end color because the application is just a lot easier. I just went in the back to check if anyone was here and they aren't. I am the last one in here so let's get out of here. You can take the girl out of New York but you cannot take the New York out of the girl. Before I even get in the car, I check the back seat and then I get in real quick. I shut the door and immediately lock it. And what's nice about my car is if you're getting in from the driver's seat, it's, you know, like the keyless entry, but it will only unlock the driver door, none of the other ones. So good safety feature. What is nice about here and makes me feel a lot safer and more comfortable like leaving late at night i am right on a big busy road so there's constantly people coming and going it's also in an apartment complex so there's literally people that live upstairs and like right there in the buildings next door and all around and it's also lit up and there's security cameras not that that would matter in the moment but yeah at my last salon it was like it used to be her family home that she converted into a salon and it was on this like small dead end road and it was super dark and i had to walk like technically across the street to get to my car and i don't know there'd be times where i'd be leaving there at night it would be creepy a because it's an old ass house and if you've been following me for a while you know about all my history with paranormal experiences so like just being there alone any time of day but especially at night was super creepy and then obviously yeah like walking out to my car it was just creepy because it was like literally anybody could just be out here waiting for me in the bushes but yeah i'm gonna go home take benny out eat some dinner and tomorrow again i only have one client she's coming in at four so it'll be another like chill day so i'll see you tomorrow hi Sorry I didn't record the process of my client. I don't even think I got any before pictures, but her hair was just really dark and it had been through some stuff. Like it was lightened in the past and then she box dyed it a couple times and she just wanted to mention, wanted to stay a brunette, wanted it to be really warm and didn't want it to come up super high. She wanted it to be as low maintenance and easy as possible. And then we did a trim, super easy and quick. And honestly, her hair lifted really fast. I only used 15 volume but she only had to process for 20 minutes or so if even and now it's 7 30 i just finished cleaning i did a nice thorough clean i am gonna go get my laundry though from the back room because i started to load before my client got here and i thought i would give you a little tour i think there are still some people here so i'm gonna try to be quiet but i want to give you a tour of the building because i've been getting a lot of questions in my vlogs about like oh do you have a break room do you have an area where you can like get away from your client if you want to or do you have to just stay in your room the whole time it's really really nice here so let me let's, let's go let me show you I'm just going to do a voiceover. So this is what the front waiting room area looks like. Those doors on the right is the front entrance to the building. So I love that my room is right up front and right off the waiting room. It just makes it really convenient when clients get there and it's just easy for them to find my room. It's also good advertising for like other clients that are there for, you know, other providers and other services seeing my room right there is nice. So there is 
two hallways technically. Oh, I also love that the restroom is like right there. So it just makes it so much easier. You'll see in a minute, like it's a little bit of a maze in the back. So it's just easy that it's like waiting room, my room, bathroom, boom. So there's one hallway on that side and then there's a second hallway on this side and they both meet in the middle. So there's rooms all along this hallway. And then at the end of this hallway, this is like the middle room where the other hallway meets. This is the processing room. So in here, we have little goodies, you know, some snacks and a mini fridge with a Keurig. So if we want to offer our clients any beverages, this is where we can do it. I know some people were like, oh, you should get a mini fridge in your room. Not necessary because there's one in here. And then there is a heat lamp and dryers in case we need to put our clients like under heat to process. And then if you come down the very end of the hallway, there's more rooms all along here. I think there's like 20 suites in the whole building. There's a back entrance that we can come through if we want to. And then there is our big break room. So this is just for all of the providers in the building. So you can see we have a table, microwave, Keurig, a fridge. So this is where we can come to eat lunch take a little break, and then we also have laundry back here. And we have a cool little system. So we all bring our own individual detergent and like laundry products. And then they gave us these little magnets that we can write our names on. So when you have a load in the washing machine, you just put your magnet with your name on it. And then if somebody else, like once your load is done, if somebody else needs to use the washer, then they'll put your stuff in the dryer for you and just move your magnet along. So that way you never lose your stuff, but that way like we can just keep the laundry moving. And it's really nice. Everyone's just been like super helpful. And yeah, I have been super happy here so far. And it's nice that we have these rooms where I can get a little break if I need to just have some time alone away from my client. About to head to the salon, but I wanted to show you my outfits. This top is, where is this even from? Forever 21. It's so old, but it's like a muscle cut tank. And then these overalls, I want to say are like from Target maybe. I've also had these forever. And I'm going to wear my cider slip-on sandals. It's hot as all hell. I've been trying to like really be put together this week and wearing long pants and all that kind of stuff. Just too hot. So this will be nice and breathable. And yeah, I just have the one client tonight. And I'm looking forward to it because she came in for a consultation already. Um, so I got to meet her face to face, but she is actually really good friends with one of my old clients from Pennsylvania that was literally my soulmate. Courtney, if you're watching, I'm talking about you. I love you. I miss you. We're like literally the same person. It's kind of, we, even, we were born on the same day, like same day, same year. So I know that she and I are going to like hit it off because I'm like, if you guys are good friends and she and I are so similar and get along so well, we're gonna get along, you know? So it should be a pretty easy appointment. Let's go do this. Guess what? Totally forgot to get any kind of footage or before or after pictures of my client. We were chatting the entire time. She was great and yeah, it was just nice to chat with a fellow Philly girl. Just did a full head of highlights, toner, trim, and that was that. Pretty easy. I did get an update on the air conditioner. They were waiting on some part or whatever to come and she said it was supposed to have gotten delivered today. So sometime over the weekend slash Monday, they are gonna come and replace the faulty system. So hopefully when I come in on Tuesday, this temporary unit will be gone. Oh yeah, and look, that's my room right there. So even though the curtains are sheer and I can see out of them, but you really cannot see into my room. So that's kind of cool. Hat day. 
Okay, this is the best that I could do today. And I've been trying to get in the habit of making my bed in the morning. And clearly I have been failing. <laughs> I'm feeling tired today and I just want to get through the day, you know? So here's my outfit. This bodysuit is from Misguided. And these pants are from Forever 21. And then I'm wearing my cider sandals again. I have two clients today. First one is a regular. She has been getting a copper, like the same, I literally used my same exact formula of the copper that I used to have several months ago. Um, so we're just doing her roots and a gloss to refresh the color, possibly a trim. Yeah, I think, I think we are doing a trim. And then my second client is new and I believe, I want to say she's getting like highlights, low lights, reverse balayage type situation. I'll see you at the salon. It is now, oh, 444. Four, four. Angel numbers. What is 444? Four, four? Said to represent clarity, evolution, decisiveness, and stability. It conveys a powerful message of love, support, and guidance from your angels and serves as a reminder that you are on the right path and your angels are by your side offering their unwavering support. Wow, I love that. Like as I'm wrapping up another week, but yeah, my two clients today were amazing. First one, like I said, is a regular, so it was good to see her and catch up, and her hair looks so good. We chopped a few inches off. She might hate me because of it now. Because <laughs> she was showing me some pictures literally as I was starting her haircut, and at first I just trimmed like an inch, and then she was like, what do you think about this? And I was like, I love it, let's do it. And I just, <laughs> which normally I, I'm not. I'm normally like very conservative with cutting. I ease into it because I, you know, it can scare people, but I don't know. We were just like in the moment and I was like, yeah, let's just do it. Didn't even hesitate or think anything of it, but I feel like she needed it and it looks so cute on her and feels amazing and it's still long. It's just shorter than it was. And then my second client was so amazing. I mean, we were, her hair was a project. She had a lot of it, but so, so, so worth it. It came out so beautiful and she loved it, which is always a great feeling. It was just really good. Like we had a really good consultation, talked about maintenance. She booked her next appointment and she said that it was the first time a hairstylist ever gave her exactly what she wanted. And that is like, the greatest feeling. I want people to like have a good experience and love their hair and feel like heard. It was just a really good way to wrap up the week. So now I'm gonna go home and enjoy my weekend and just relax. So that's gonna be it for this vlog. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to check the description for my link and code to dossier. And I will see you really soon in my next video. Bye.